Hi there, boys and girls. Welcome to Lesson 10.2, Customary Capacity. Our essential question is how can you compare and convert customary units of capacity? Please turn in your Go Math book to Lesson 10.2. Let's take a look at question number two. For question number two, it says 192 fluid ounces equals how many pints? So we want to look at our customary units of capacity chart to look to see how many ounces are in one pint. Now let's see. We can see that one cup equals eight fluid ounces. I see one pint equals two cups. But I don't see anywhere up here where it says how many ounces equals one pint. So we have to go ahead and use this chart to help us figure that out. If I know one pint equals two cups, and one cup equals eight ounces, then it will be eight ounces for one cup plus another eight ounces for the second cup would equal 16 ounces to equal one pint because there's two cups in one pint. So now that I've discovered that 16 ounces are in one pint, right there, I just said 16 ounces equal one pint. Now we want to know how many pints will 192 ounces be? The way I can do this, if I'm going from a small measurement to a larger measurement, I'm going to have less of these because they're bigger. Therefore, I will be dividing. So my equation is going to be 192 divided by 16 ounces will tell me how many pints. Because remember, there's 16 ounces in one pint. So let's go ahead and do the math. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and do 192 divided by 16. Go ahead and do that with me. So let's go ahead and start by looking at our hundreds place. All right, I, if I have one group of 100, I can't divide it into 16 groups. So let's go ahead and take a look at our 19 tens because we have 19 tens. I can put a group of 10 in each of my 16 groups. We can fit one group of 10 in each. There's my division step. 1 times 16 is 16. Now we're going to subtract and have three tens left over and bring down our two ones. Now we have 32 ones. All right, if I have 32 ones and I have 16 groups, I know that I can put two in each group. 2 times 6 is 12, and 2 times 1 ten is 2 tens, plus 1 more is 3 tens. Therefore, we have 0 left over. So I would say that 192 ounces equals 12 pints. All right, let's all take a look at question number 3 together. Number 3 says 15 pints will equal how many cups? So let's take a look at our chart up above here. And we have one pint is equal to two cups. Now remember, pints are bigger than cups. So if you're converting to cups, you're going to have more cups because pints are bigger. So you're going to have more of these if you're changing it to cups, which means we're going to multiply. So if I have 15 pints will equal how many cups? And if one pint equals two cups, your operation needs to be multiply. So you should do 15 times 2. And so you can say 30 cups is the same value as 15 pints. Let's go ahead and skip over number 4 and let's go to question number 5. Number 5 says 32 quarts is equal to how many gallons? Well, I'm going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. Whenever you go from a small unit to a larger unit, you're going to divide. So I have 32 quarts equals how many gallons? Well, let's come up here and look at the quarts. I see that one gallon is equal to four quarts. So if I have one gallon equals four quarts, how many gallons would equal 32 quarts? Remember, when you go from a small unit to a larger unit, you're going to divide. And if I know 4 quarts equals 1 gallon, I'm going to plug in 32 quarts divided by 4 because 4 quarts are in 1 gallon. 32 divided by 4 I know is 8 because 8 times 4 is 32. So 8 gallons is the same value as 32 quarts. 
Now on number six, we're going to convert quarts to cups. We're going from a big unit to down to a smaller unit. Let's look at our chart. Do we see anything up here about quarts to cups? I see pints to cups, and I see quarts to pints, but I don't see anything up here about quarts to cups. So we have to use our math skills to figure this one out. Let's look and see what we know. We know one pint is equal to two cups. So if here's a pint, and I know inside this pint I can fit two cups. We also know that there are two pints that will equal one quart. So I'm going to draw another pint right here. And we know two cups are in a pint. So if we can see up here that one quart, quart is the same value as two pints, here's my two pints, this is the same value as one quart. And we've learned that two cups are in one pint. Do you see how that works? So we should know that one quart, which is two pints, is really equal to four cups as well. So now that we've discovered that one quart is the value of four cups, I'm going to write that right here just for our chart to have that as well because we've discovered that. Now we can answer this question. I'm going from a big unit down to a smaller unit, which means I'm going to have more cups than quarts because cups are smaller. And we've discovered four cups are in one quart. So if I have 10 quarts, we want to multiply because we're going from a big unit down to a small unit. So we're going to have more of these. So we're going to multiply. So our equation should be 10 times 4 because 4 cups are in 1 quart. So if we have 10 quarts times 4 cups, we're going to have the value of 40 cups. For number eight, we're going to talk about converting pints to gallons. Now, pints are smaller than gallons. We can fit how many pints inside one gallon? Let's go ahead and look and see up here to help us figure that part out. I know one gallon is equal to four quarts, and I know one quart equals two pints. So if I know one gallon equals four quarts, I'm going to draw four quarts right here. Those are my quarts. I'm going to put a little Q inside each one. Now I know that has a value of a gallon. Now according to my chart, I know each quart has two pints that can fit inside of it. So I'm going to put a little P for pint right here. So now we can see that if I have four quarts, this equals a gallon, but so does this equal a gallon because it has the same value. So let's count up how many pints are in one gallon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I learned that one gallon also equals eight pints. Now that we've learned that, let's talk about our operation we're going to do. Remember, when you go from a small unit to a larger unit, you're going to have less of these because it's a bigger capacity. So let's see what we know. If I have 72 pints and I know 8 pints equals 1 gallon, I'm dividing because this is a bigger unit. Small to large, you divide. So let's do 72 pints divided by 8 pints will be 9 gallons. So if I had 9 gallons, that would have the same value as 72 pints. Okay, for number 10, we're going to compare using inequalities of either less than, greater than, or equal to. For number 10, we have 17 quarts and we have 4 gallons. We want to put them both in the same type of unit of measurement so it's easier to compare. So let's go ahead and move these 4 gallons to quarts. So let's talk about how many quarts would 4 gallons be. If 1 gallon is equal to 4 quarts, we're going from big to small, so we're going to multiply because you're going to have more. Four gallons times four quarts would be 16 quarts. And I wrote 16 quarts because, remember, four quarts are in one gallon. So we'd have four gallons. So it would be four plus four plus four plus four, which equals 16. So as you can see, 17 quarts is greater than four gallons, only by one quart.
Let's take a look at number 12. Now we've talked about converting pints to gallons back on a previous question that we've already had. So let's quickly redraw that example. Remember we've talked about how four quarts are in one gallon. There's my four quarts. And there's two pints for each quart. So we discovered that there were eight pints per gallon. So when we're comparing pints and gallons, let's go ahead and change this gallons to pints. If I know in one gallon there are eight pints, then 100 gallons we'd have 800 pints. Now do you see which would be greater? Would it be 400 pints or 800 pints? Obviously 800 pints, which also equals 100 gallons. All right, for number 16 at the very bottom of your page, it says Vicki made a recipe for 144 fluid ounces of scented candle wax. How many one cup candle molds can she fill with the recipe? So because we're trying to figure out how many cups, we're going from a small amount, which is ounces, to a larger amount, which is cups. Remember, whenever you go from a small amount, which has a lot of them, to a bigger amount, which will have less, you're going to divide. So our division is going to be 144 divided by, let's look at our chart and see, there are 8 ounces in one cup, so we're going to divide by 8. So 144 ounces divided by 8 ounces will tell us how many cups that would be. Let's go ahead and do our math. We have a, a 1 in our hundreds place. We cannot give a 100 to each of our 8 groups, so let's look at our tens. We have 14 tens. Each of our eight groups can have one group of 10. So put a one in my tens place. Let's multiply one times eight is eight. Let's subtract 14 minus eight is six. And now let's bring down our ones right here. So now we have 64 ones to divide with my eight groups. I know if I have 64 ones and have eight groups, I know my facts that 8 times 8 is 64, so I'm going to put an 8 up top. Now let's multiply 8 times 8, which is 64. We're going to subtract to see how many are left. 0. So I can actually say that my answer is 18 cups can be made with 144 fluid ounces. Now for question number 17, let's look at our chart and see if we can figure this one out. It says a recipe calls for 32 fluid ounces of heavy cream. So let's look at our information we know about ounces. We know 8 ounces equals 1 cup. Now let's look at our question. How many 1 pint containers of heavy cream are needed to make the recipe? We haven't learned in our capacity chart here how many ounces are in 1 pint, but using our information we can figure that out. If I have two cups equals one pint, and one cup is eight ounces, well, let's just draw the model. We have one cup, one cup. So that's two cups. Two cups equals one pint. So this is a value of one pint. Let's talk about the ounces. If eight ounces are in each of our cups, and this whole value is one pint, then you can see that there are 16 ounces in a pint. All right, so because of that information, now we can figure our question out. A recipe calls for 32 fluid ounces. How many one pint containers of heavy cream are needed to make the recipe? Remember, we have 16 ounces equals one pint. So if you have 32 ounces and 16 ounces equals one pint, then how many one pint containers of heavy cream are needed to make the recipe? Go ahead and write your answer down. Now if you said the answer should be 2, you are correct. Because 2 times 16 is 32. So you would have two one pint containers. Alright boys and girls, go ahead and turn your page over to the back side. I want you to do your best to do questions 1 and 2. Read them carefully. I've given you this chart up here to help you on your questions so you can convert anything you need to. Also do questions 3 through 6 for a quick review. And at the top of this page, please write down if you're a novice, number 2 apprentice, number 3 practitioner, or number 4 expert so you can rate yourself. And remember, tomorrow in class we're going to be doing more questions just like these to get really good at them and to really have an understanding about capacity. So go ahead, boys and girls, and finish out these questions, and we'll check them tomorrow in class. Have a great night.